Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about solving equations. This time, we will use the distributive property to solve this kind of equation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So for today's video, I have here three examples for us to solve and to find the value of x, and we will use the distributive property. So in number one, we have three times x plus two is equal to 12. This parenthesis indicates that you need to multiply 3 1 by 1 to these two terms inside the parenthesis. And to multiply that, there's a property which is the distributive property. Now let's start using the distributive property. First, we will multiply 3 on the first term of the parenthesis or the grouping symbol. We have 3 times x and that would be 3x. Second, this 3 you also be multiplied to the second term in the grouping symbol that is 3 times 2. That would be plus 6 is equal to 12. Now, we need to eliminate 6 and from our previous video, we need to subtract this or we need to do something to reverse this operation which is from plus 6, we need to subtract 6 on both sides of the equation. So this is plus 6 minus 6. That would be 0. And we can easily cancel this out to make it 0. And what remains here on the left side of the equation is 3x. On the other side, we have 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6. And now, finally, we can divide this by 3. Divide this by 3. Cancel out. Cancel out. You have x is equal to simplifying this 6 divided by 3 that would be 2 and here it is guys the value of x is 2 now if you want to check whether your answer is correct you can do the checking on a separate sheet of paper okay so let's move on with item number two in number two the variable here is letter d we have 20 is equal to 5 times d minus 7 guys don't be confused and don't think that this equation is difficult because here, the constant is on the left side, while here, the constant is on the right side. This is an equality, so we can do the same for this example. So first, we can simply copy first 20. And as for the right side of the equation, this part, we still need to use the distributive property. It's 5 and d. Let's multiply them. 5 times d, that is... 5d and then for this one 5 and negative 7 we have 5 times negative 7 that is negative 35 now as you can see the variable d is on the right side of the equation so what we need to do is to eliminate negative 35 how by simply adding both sides of the equation by 35 so this is Negative 35 plus 35, that will be 0. We can easily cancel this out, cancel this out. What remains here on the left side is 5d. On, on the right side, rather, on the left side, we have 20 plus 35, that would be 55. And as you can see, same as this, kung whatever is with the variable, this will be our divisor. This is 5, so we will divide this by 5. Divide this by 5. Cancel, cancel, this is D, is equal to 55 divided by 5, and that is simply 11. And as you can see, as simple as that, we're using distributive property to solve each equation. Now, by the way, guys, uh, the purpose of the distributive property is to simply eliminate the grouping symbols. And it is patterned with the operations on numbers. Okay? So we have 4 times 2x plus 3 is equal to 68. Now, by the distributive property, let's multiply. 4 times 2x, 4 times 2 is 8. Then copy x. Then 4 times 3, that would be plus 12, or positive 12. On the other side, this is 68. Now, to remove this, don't forget to subtract both sides of the equation 
by 12. Cancel, cancel. We have 8x is equal to 68 minus 12. That would be 56. And here we have 8. So this will be our divisor. 8 and 8. Cancel this one. Cancel this one. You have x is equal to 56 divided by 8. That would be 7. Now, guys, as you can see, we are done in solving for equations using the CBT property. And syempre, as part of our routine, we will try to solve another example for you to answer after watching this video. And please do comment down below. Let's try this equation. So the given equation is 3 times 2x plus 4 is equal to 48. Again, guys, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and please share this video to your friends or to your classmates and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. So again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming, maraming salamat and bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Please watch our videos. See the links on the, on the description box. Thank you.